Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's uh, 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next week, 10 days for today's uh, video. So day 10 will take us to the 3rd of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ESAP ensembles. Maybe we'll try out a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. But the next four weeks gets us into the second half of June. And I'll get time back for you in a moment to say that first. A bit of say it was our 6 7 UK weather forecast. And if that wasn't enough, we've released the ECM at WF42 there for channel members. So if you're a channel member, check that one out. And uh, like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For Gals Weather Vids, thank you so much, uh, everyone. Only need to put on around 30 subscribers now to get ourselves to 19.8k. Uh, so quickly get a sub, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, let's start off with the latest river map from EarthNoSchool.net. Share map got low pressure in the North Atlantic to West Scotland. And we're bringing the wind in from a westerly or a southwesterly direction. So... Quite a significant change has taken place. High pressure that's been dominating the weather has come out to some um, eastern parts of Europe. And now we are under the influence of low pressure. Uh, Setting temperature is currently sitting at 12.6. That's 1.5 degrees above 61 to 90 on the average. That is provisional to the 22nd of May. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks were at London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Staying off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. They're going to be coming down over the uh, closing days of the month and then lifting up towards months and going slightly above average as we get through the first week of June. Precipitation anomalies are looking uh, like this, wetter than average through the uh, wet, quite wet, unsettled the first week. Maybe a bit of a drying trend mode as we're going into the first week of uh, June. So the last week of May, a bit unsettled. First week of June could be showing uh, a drying trend then. Temperature anomalies, that's five days, average to slightly above, six to ten days. Temperature anomaly above average and the 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly also a little bit above average as well. Precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, that's the 31st of May. And this is a big change, looking significantly wetter than average in central northern and western areas, particularly wet for western parts of Scotland. Some places look to be going to about um, or in excess of about uh, 60 to 80 percent of their average rainfall there. So that's quite a significant anomaly. 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly, however, starts to go back to driving average conditions again, particularly so for England and Wales. Right, let's start going through chart data. Then. This is our latest UK Met Euro run. Lots of midnight on Tuesday. And missing reason, it's unsettled. Low pressure punching through from the Atlantic, transient ridge, and another low downstream waiting in the wings. As we move on into uh, Wednesday, well, unsettled again. Wednesday, Thursday, low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic. Eventually, a little bit of a ridge starts to build into the south and southwest. Might turn things slightly drier then. Icon again, bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic with outbreaks of uh, rain, especially central and northern areas. And then high pressure trying to build up from the south, but still low pressure out to the west and to the northwest. We've got the KMA looking like this. Again, low pressure is moving in from off the Atlantic through next week. And then high pressure will be sitting to our south as we get to around a week out, bringing quite a bit of dry weather there. Heading on through the first week of June, well, low pressure bed, still out to the north of west of the country. Um, though there's an unsettled pattern here through the first week of June uh, with the KMA as well. GFS midnight run, all much of a much through next week, looking quite unsettled, especially in the north, but even in the south, there will be a little bit of rain coming through at times. Into the last day of May and first day of June, low pressure deepening from the Atlantic and pushing in from the west. Heading up towards day 10, we start to see a ridge trying to build in. Um, but low pressure, never all that far away until we get to about the 6th, 7th of June. And then a proper break, then a proper area of high pressure started to build through the west of Europe. Turning things a lot drier and a lot warmer there at the end of the first week of June and into the second week of the month. However, that is a long way off. 
out. <laughs> and then the GFS 6 said, and once more, pushing low pressure through uh, next week. Reach down to the south, bring some slight dry and warm weather later next week to the south, unsettled though, up in the north. And then into the uh, beginning of June, where low pressure comes back in from the Atlantic region. Again, looking quite unsettled here as we go through the opening days of uh, June. A bit of a ridge trying to build here later on in the first week, bringing us back some drier and warmer weather, but uh, it looks a bit transient. All in all, a lot more mobility to uh, the weather patterns in the next couple of weeks from most of these models. And whilst we do see some rich attempts and some high pressure building, overall looking a lot more mobile. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content? Don't forget to tell your friends about the channel. You get to subscribe too. As I say, we only need to put on around 30 subscribers. That's our 19.8k. So you can give us a sub That'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. If you consider giving a little donation to get us lows via our PayPal page, link in the description. That'd be absolutely amazing as well. We'll give you a shout out in the videos if you want one. GM, again, with uh, high, low pressure in control through next week. So, uh, unsettled and mixed as we get through to uh, next weekend. Heights trying to build into cell, bring something a little bit dry and warmer. But overall, low pressure keeps on coming through to the 1st of June. Let's have a look at day 10. We've got low pressure deepening to the west of Scotland, probably bring a renewed push of unsettled weather. And then uh, the ECM once more punching low pressure through with unsettled conditions next week. And there was a bit of an attempt to build some higher pressure into the south next weekend, but it doesn't really come to a great deal. And then around day 10, low pressure actually starts deepening like mad to the west of the UK and Ireland. So we, uh, end, we end up with a big dartboard there by uh, the 4th of uh, June. Um, now, that's probably the most unsettled, but we've seen within model output uh, today. But, uh, Perhaps a bit of a start to count, right? And very different to the high pressure that the uh, East End was showing yesterday for the first week of June. So that looks properly unsettled and cool. Oh, dear. And then cool and unsettled as we go on, um, really, with west or south. West winds will be 8th, probably 8th of June in a showering westerly flow. Not brilliant, is it? <laughs> this is my precipitation forecast based on that East End run from Tibet.com. Plenty of showery conditions, particularly so in the north. More low pressure, bring wet weather. The middle part of next week, another bout of rain. Later next week, bring uh, wet conditions as well. Even in the south, got some uh, useful rain being predicted here. Remember, the gardens and the farmers do uh, need it. So, um, you know, it's good news really that we're seeing this wet weather, but obviously not good for holiday makers and people wanting to, you know, get out into the gardens and relax, I don't suppose. Um, we get to day 10, and that's the dartboard begin to, beginning to develop just to the west of the UK and Ireland with its uh, associated heavy rain. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It's getting us to the 3rd of June, 51 out of the members of the ECM ensembles with plenty of low pressure. Uh, to our northern east, higher pressure out to the west, and winds are coming in from a westerly direction. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll get us to the 8th of June, 30 members of the east on ensembles with low pressure to the north, high pressure bridging to the south, winds coming in from the west, and then 21 with high pressure over the country. So 21 taking us back to high pressure by the end of the first week of June, but the majority option 30 keeps us pretty flat and unsettled. CFS B2 finally beats a 500 millibar height on to break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 24th to the 30th of May, but next week we're low pressure up to the north, high pressure around Spain and winds coming in. The westerly direction looks uh, mobile and rather mixed. Week 2 will be the 31st of May to the 6th of June. High pressure down to south, low pressure to the north. Winds coming in from the west like uh, so. Week 3. Three! What's happened to my voice? Week 3 <laughs> takes us to the 7th of the 13th of June. He's shouting out all those orders. I'm the what to go. I think I'm going to lose my voice. <laughs> um, high pressure to the east and drove the winds up uh, from a southerly direction. That's turning warmer 
if nothing else. Week, week four looks a bit unsettled. It's the 14th to the 20th of June. Low pressure in the north. The wind's coming in a little bit like that. Overall, I think we have seen a bit of a change today. I think there's a bit of flip going on here within the model output. Something more unsettled through the first week of June. Maybe not going quite as far as like the ECM with that big dartboard low, but it does, I think, um, we do, I think, see today uh, rather more changeable and mixed looking uh, model output for the first week of June compared to what we saw, for example, yesterday. So, wait and see how it goes. I think, as I've said in the videos already, I think this is a critical juncture, really. We've been through this very, very long run of high-pressure, dry, warm weather throughout most of this spring. Um, if that was to carry on into summer, and I think the early part of summer would likely keep the same train going, be very warm and dry. But if we're flipping here to a much more unsettled, cooler pattern, then the early summer could be in trouble. So uh, this is, um, I say, quite a critical period, I think, certainly for the first half of the summer. Anyway, so we're going to keep you posted at Gas Weather. So the next installment of Soap Opera uh, will be with tomorrow, 10 to 14 day. Uh, I'll just tell you what's coming up on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have 6 m UK weather forecast. The uh, final summer update. Uh, we've got uh, Gas Weather's Sunday Roundup and a 10 to 14 day. A busy day coming up on the channel tomorrow. Please keep checking back for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.